he washes his hands, we are going to be creating jam from the uh, yummy crate that he gets. He got a subscription from his great grandma and he loves to cook. So we have done a couple of these already, but the jam one looked, looked pretty interesting. So we wanted to put it on, on his uh, video. So this one is called Sweet and Spreadable. Hi. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, wash our berries. We are doing strawberry raspberry jam, All right? So I'm gonna pour those in there. So we're gonna pour these in there, and we're gonna go over to the sink, and then we're gonna wash them. So use cold water. Is that all of them? Well, I don't wanna put those in yet. Oh, okay. We actually don't, we can wash these, but we don't need to uh, cut them up. Okay. Okay. So now where I'm gonna wash them, so coming over here, I'm gonna wash them. So not cold water, what Ellen says, so I'm gonna- Not hot water. I want cold water. Just rinse them off, get all the icks on, off of them. To make jam, you need sugar and you need something called pectin. And pectin is, um, helps bind the jelly together so it's more solid and spreadable. And it doesn't drip off your peanut butter sandwich. How's it coming? And now we'll get to chocolate. Okay, guys, now we're gonna start cutting our strawberries. So you're gonna want to cut as close as to Whoa, this. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> wow, so, that's gonna be a funky one to cut. So we are gonna cut as close as to the little green parts. So we're gonna go like right here. See, that's not too bad. And then we're gonna put the green parts in this bag or the thing. And then you're gonna cut this in half. Looks like a heart. You're gonna cut Heart this warrior. in. Heart warrior. You're gonna cut this in half, so you're gonna need to know fractions to do this. Right, one half. So mine is quite large. I think I'm going to cut it in fourths. So you're gonna. Well, I would have to know my fourths. Good job. So we're just gonna keep doing this, and yeah. Until we're done, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, so now we're going to put some berries in this little bowl, and then we're going to take my little mesh, mushy thingamajigger, and we're going to mush it down. You look like a little Gordon Ramsay. Get it together! Oh, it sounds like one, too. <laughs> All right, here, let's put some more in there. So it doesn't take that long. Okay. Oh, now, I thought you mesh. No, but all together, because it's all going in one pot. So it's ra strawberry raspberry jam. Strawberry red raspberry jam, no, push. And they're gonna push, use your muscles, okay? Now, push, make them all Ow. squishy. And we're gonna break them down. Okay, got it, got it. Got it, okay. And then you put, put pour, we're gonna pour his mashed strawberries and berries into a pan. This is so gross. Huh? Not gross. <laughs> All right, so let me see how we're looking. All right, good. Oh, there we go. Some mashed berries. We're gonna put them in okay, here. Okay, once uh, the berries are mashed, we're gonna put in one citrus fruit, which is an orange, so I'm gonna try to cut it. So juice of one orange or one lemon, one lime. Orange would be pretty good with this. Ellen can tell me I couldn't do this, but hey, hey, hey. I didn't tell you couldn't do it. You said it might be hard, I don't think. Oh, that's all. All right, so now, I don't know if you guys have a juicer or not. All right, guys, how another cook does it. Giada. Giada does it. She squeezes it in her hand just because make sure there's no seeds in there so there isn't any seeds in there. And then she pours it in. So I think this lemon is good. I mean orange. Orange, sorry. Need to learn more vegetables and... Okay. Now we're going to this orange. This looks like a... Something that would be on like a party decoration. It looks so like... Perfect. Perfect. Smooth. Okay. I'm talking too much. Gotta get back to cooking. All right, Gordon. I hope we aren't using the 
oranges mom uses for her skinny margaritas. Wait, did you actually find this? In it's in or the, did it come with it? It's in the fridge. Ooh, I don't know. Hi right, guys, we need one cup and one and a half cup of sugar and one cup, right? One cup of... And one packet. Oh, one packet of shit. Of pectin. Pectin. We're using sure gel, but I'm sure you could use any kind of pectin. Oh, yeah. Okay, so do what first, you do. Pour some sugar in here. Pour okay. some sugar in there. Whoa! <laughs> you should have known that was true. Yeah. Oh, it's so All right, guys. Sick in there. All right, well, we got one cup. <laughs> There's one. One. And now the next one. Crunch up more of those. Uh, no, no, no. Oh. It wasn't half a cup yet. Hold on, dude. You gotta pay attention to what you're doing. All right. <laughs> Okay, that's probably good. All right, I don't think it's too sugary. All right, and it goes. Hello. All right, and we're gonna give it a. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna stir it all in. Stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. The adult is going to put it on the stove. Make sure you have an adult. Whoa! Make sure we put sugar on mom's list. Yep. Because I mostly spill all the sugar, guys. Spill all the sugar. Hi. Hi. Hi, Aiden's fans. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. I'll see you tonight, okay? She has to go to work. Okay, bye. Bye. Now we're cutting open the pectin, and we're going to put it in. So, we're, so this is what pectin looks like. See that? It's all white. So we're using pectin, but I, I bet you can find some other recipe for this. But I'm using pectin because that's what my recipe says. So we're following the recipe. Make sure you follow your guys' recipe. Anytime you make strawberry jam, you need pectin. Make sure you follow your recipe when you are cooking. But, uh, and make sure you do it when you're cooking desserts, but you should probably do it anytime you're cooking anything. So, All right, that's good. There's a little tip and now, from Team Aiden. Yeah. Well, we're going to put it on the stove, yeah. and I'm going to turn yeah. the stove on medium high, and we're going to let it cook for 10 well, to 15 minutes. was delicious well our jam has been cooking for 15 minutes and that's when they said now we're going to test it so what i'm going to do they say to take a little bit of your jam and spread it on the pl a plate and put it in the freezer for one minute and if you come back and it wrinkles up your jam is ready if not it's still running we have to put it on the stove again for another three to five minutes so i'm going to go put it in the freezer Hi guys. Um, a minute um, so let's do the test if it wrinkles it's ready. Push. I don't want to. All right, like this. It's still a little bit runny, so I think we're going to put it in. I'm going to do it again for another three to five minutes. All right, minutes. guys, my jam is ready. Now we're going to put them into this wash jars. Okay. And it's very hot, so I want you to just take a scoop. What in the heck was that? That was my soup. <laughs> Making lunch. And pour it into the jar, okay? Very carefully. Um, is it's it better hot? if yes, yeah, so it's better if you just leave the jar laying right there and then take a scoop with your ladle and pour it in. Try not to try to get it in. Hold the ladle up so it's not spilling out. Look. Watch me. Can you hold it like that? Um, Put your two fingers like is this. Is this from my Emo's kitchen? Uh uh, I think it's mom's. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, take some. Okay, bring it up level. Oh no, oh no. It's okay. You can scrape it off the side. No, 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 no. Now, directly over there and pour it in. Hey, you did it. Okay. Mm. 
Good job. I can't mess up. We're not actually going to put these in a water bath. Once we have them jarred and clean jars, you can keep them into the refrigerator for up to two weeks. Hi guys, I got three part jars of jam. Hi jars, hi jars. Look at that color, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful jam. He's the jam master, he's my jam. And then this is actually a two part video. Um, two parts you say? Uh, yes, two parts I say. Oatmeal jammies. jammies. They're cookies with I our. I mean, I'm just gonna say. With our tasty jam in the I middle. mean, I'm just gonna say. Watch out, Ellen. Oh. I got jammies on. There you do. Bye.